Good happy Tuesday evening. I'm Riley King and welcome to the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King network. Let's begin. First step, one killed in propane tank explosion in New Boston. Let's take a listen to this video from WMUR News 9. We have the equipment and the training to handle life support missions. We take care of the most sick and most badly injured patients, and to be able to help those people on a daily basis is incredibly rewarding. Well, we have learned that the explosion started when a propane tank exploded and there was a man in the basement. There was a painter in the basement. We do not know the extent of his injuries. They did, local law enforcement did tell us that at one point neighbors were talking to the painter while he was trapped in the basement. The bottom portion of the house was totally leveled, leaving the top portion of it sitting on top of that bottom portion of the house. Neighbors from all over the area heard and felt the explosion. We spoke with one of them. Here was his account of what happened at his house. I was above the garage at my house, and all of a sudden, a giant sounded like an explosion, and it came right up through the foundation. The whole front of the house shook, and I've got like a 100-foot-long house, and my son was at the other end of the house, and he came running in. His whole side shook. We thought maybe something hit the house. Again, we do know there was a painter in the basement. He was trapped in the basement. We do know, do not know the extent of his injuries or if he survived, and it started when a propane tank exploded. We will stay with this story in New Boston. Jessica Moran, WMUR News 9. All right. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. We will keep you updated as this is a still a developing Story. Lawmakers hear proposal for 15 minimum wage. Let's take a listen to this video from WCVB Boston. Search millions of jobs on... Hi, Randy. Yeah, how much is enough? That's the question going to be debated here at the State House later today. A legislative committee will be taking comments on the issue. Currently, a minimum wage worker makes $11 an hour. Supporters of raising it want to do so by $1 a year until it reaches $15 by 2021. If the legislature doesn't act on it, Bay State voters may have to do so in the form of a ballot question next year. Last fall, supporters of that raise held a rally here on the steps of the State House. They claim those making the minimum are still unable to make ends meet. Those who oppose the increase claim doing so would hurt small business owners across the state. And oh, by the way, Massachusetts already has one of the highest minimum rates, minimum wage rates in the country. We're live on Beacon Hill this morning. Doug Meehan, WCBB News Center 5. Doug. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Drug overdose leads to charges against five people for drug trafficking, officials say. A drug overdose led to the arrest of five people on charges they were trafficking heroin, fentanyl, and cocaine, according to the Maine Drug Enforcement Agency. The investigation began after a non-fatal overdose was reported in Beth on Sunday. Drug agents conducted surveillance of Devon Pushard he, as he traveled from Beth along with Morlane Ward and Kimberly Lamard to the Walmart parking lot in 
Biddeford Monday afternoon, the MDEA said. Investigators said they met up with Glenn Hagen of Biddeford, who gave them 42 grams of su suspected heroin slash fentanyl tea. Hagan and Pritchard were arrested and taken to York County Jail on unlawful trafficking charges. Warden Lamard were issued summons and released at the scene. Agents searched Hagen's Biddeford apartment and seized 140 grams of cocaine, 180 grams of heroin slash fentanyl tea, nine firearms, and 4,080 60 dollars in suspected drug proceeds. The estimate street value of the drugs is 41,000. The MDA said drug agents then arraigned to meet the suspected supplier of the drugs at the main mall in South Portland. Alf Mann of Lawrence, Massachusetts was arrested as he gave 50 grams of suspected heroin slash fentanyl tea to an undercover agent, the MDEA said. Menon was charged with unlawful trafficking and taken into Cumberland County Jail. And now let's take a look at your stock market and see how your stock market closed for this Tuesday evening. Your Dow Joe Industrial Average closed in the green and went up. Your S&P 500 Index closed in the green and went up. Your NASDAQ closed in the green and went up. RUSS 2K closed in the red and went down, and VIX closed in the green and went up. Dow Post record close as Fed meeting starts. Trump talks to the UN. The Fed is not expected to raise rates following its meeting. However, many market participants Hints believe the central banks will announce the unwinding of its massive $4.5 trillion profit. U.S. equalities rose on Tuesday as the Federal Reserves kicked off a two-day monetary policy meeting. And we're following some breaking news right now in our newsroom. At least 44 people died after a 7.1 magnitude earthquake strikes Mexico, local officials say. Let's take a listen to this video from ABC News. Horizon. It's America's largest, most reliable 4G LTE network. They won't let you down in places like this. Even... In the strike zone! It's the red zone. Pretty sure it's the strike zone. Here, use mine. Alright, see you on the court, champ. Heads up! When it really, really matters, you need the best network and the best unlimited. Plans now start at $40 per line for four lines. Following developing news out of Mexico, where the country is coping with yet another powerful earthquake, this one rocking the capital city, a 7.1 magnitude quake struck central Mexico just a short time ago. The quake centered in Puebla State, about 76 miles southeast of Mexico City, where thousands of panicked workers fled swaying, swaying high rises. Now, there were reports of widespread damage, and Mexico City's airport has been closed as a result. At this point, no reports of anyone being hurt. We will continue to follow the very latest developments, bring you updates online at ABC7 NY as well. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Tuesday evening. Good night, everyone. Bye.